guys how are you a very good day to all our viewers and uh, you may or may not know me i'm lucas and i'll be the host for today's video today we are going to talk about the differences between our course and analytical journey with power bi and the official microsoft course analyzing data with power bi okay before we start the video please do not forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification buttons so without further ado let us start this discussion first of all to make this discussion more professional i've invited the trainer and the owner of this course and he will give you the full details about the comparison hi jero how are you doing today hey lucas i'm good i'm fine Definitely. Great. It's great. Great, great. Okay. Our viewers may or may not know you. Could you please introduce yourself? Sure. Well, uh, yeah, my name is Gerald, right? And uh, I'm the founder of uh, German Consulting. Uh, I'm also the master trainer. And uh, well, I have been training for 25 years. So, well, a lot of things have gone through me. And of course, uh, based on my experience, I have actually discovered quite a bit of uh, some discrepancies, some variances here and there so yeah that's uh much about me <laughs> great great well okay have you always been training only microsoft official curriculum oh yes actually um well speaking of this uh back in 1990s actually i started my training with microsoft i got to know microsoft i started with um, microsoft office and from there i fell in love with it you know i, I just don't know why and uh, i've been offered quite a lot of um uh, opportunities to train or pick up, let's say, some other products like even SAP, IBM, those were the days. But apparently, it doesn't quite stuck into my mind. Right? It doesn't get stick into my mind for some reasons. I don't know why. But uh, well, let's cut it short. But yes, I've been training Microsoft my entire career, 25 years in the career, and I'm 100, 1000 percent pro Microsoft. Yes. Cool, it's very happy to hear that. And okay, we know that Power BI is a really quite popular tool right now. Nowadays, it's kind of a trend. And what makes you create this course instead of using Microsoft Official course? What makes you create an analytical journey with Power BI as your own course? Well, that's a very good question, actually. <laughs> okay, now we see. Um, let's talk about DA100. Uh, DA100, right, is a very good course. Before DA100, okay, there is uh, 20778, right? Um, well, both with the same title uh, and uh, analyzing big, uh, sorry, analyzing data with Power BI. Now, if you were to talk about both the comparison between these two official courses, right, DA100 compared to 20778, I've trained them both. Now, I'm not saying DA100 is not good. It is good. It's considerably better than uh, 20778. And of course, my concern here, what came into my mind to create uh, an analytical journey with Power BI, it's number one, to look at both two types of crop. Okay, two types of crop. Number one would be, of course, the technical people. Those of them who are uh, intending to go for certification. Right? And then the second crop would be, of course, those people who want to pursue on-the-job training, they want to gain more knowledge, and they are not looking at certification. And of course, they might be an entirely business user background. Okay, They're non-technical, they can be data analysts, they can be business analysts, but more towards the business, user, uh, the business side. So for them to take DA100, right, I would say that it is slightly a bit more technical. Now, thus, I have actually collected a lot of uh, feedbacks from all this while. I've been training so many participants, so many organizations, and they said that they want to learn this, they want to learn that, but yet it was not found in DA100. So I make it a way that I assemble all these feedbacks, all these topics, and I crafted it into a course. Okay. Wait, um, I've heard you mention a lot about the certification. And can I assume that DA100 is only aligned with the Microsoft certification exam? 
Oh yes, definitely. Because you see, the course code DA-100, T00 is the course. But the front portion, DA-100, is exactly the Microsoft exam. Okay, which, well, upon passing the DA-100, you'll get the Microsoft Certified uh, Data Analyst Associate title. So, now rest assured, it's not just DA-100, okay, but a lot of other new breed of Microsoft courses. Their course code, is aligned and is equalizing the exam code. Now, ultimately speaking, right, from the style that you look at how Microsoft did this, <clears throat> they are practically creating a course that is to fulfill the training requirement to prepare the participants for their certification. So ultimately speaking, right, okay, the um, entirety of the syllabus inside the course DA100 would be to align with the exam requirements. Different skills measured, different tested areas. That is how Microsoft created DA100. Okay, what about your course then? Will the participants that taken your course able to take DA100 exam? Wow, okay. That is an extremely good question. Well, I would say that um, my analyzing, uh, my analytical journey with Power BI Okay, it's not directly fulfilling all the criteria in the exam, right? If you were to seriously ask me as a person who's pro Microsoft, I would recommend participants to go for DA100 if you are going to take the exam. My custom created course and analytical journey with Power BI is not aligned with the exam, but I have actually trained a lot of my own customers okay, who came for my and analytical journey of Power BI seriously asked me about whether uh, this course would be sufficient for them to go for the exam. I will tell them not entirely, but I am going to do whatever at my disposal to help them prepare for it. But if you ask me whether this course that I've created is exactly going to 100% align and prepare them for the exam, I would say no. I cannot lie about this. Very good. Okay, spoken about the content, is there any differences between both of your course and DA100? Will there be a very big difference or how? Okay, mm, I would say that the outline okay, was crafted during the early days of 20778. Now, if you were to compare 20778 and DA100, of course, the outline has changed even the breakdown of the topics would have changed. Now, my analytical journey with Power BI was crafted during the days of 20778. So I kind of like followed uh, a scenario-based kind of uh, structure. The way I created the course right here is to follow through what would be the basic layout of uh, following the steps of how usually or a typical report designer will want to use Power BI Right, to help them to, throughout the journey. They will also learn data modeling a bit. They will learn about the um, intricate details of uh, how to build relationships, as well as then directly dive into creating reports. Now, one thing that I do is that I give lots of quizzes. I give lots of practices. Even right after they finish one lab exercise, I will again reiterate the same thing. So this is how my uh, method to instill and engrave the topic into everyone's minds. But um, of course, if you talk about uh, the DA100's layout, that is definitely aligned with the exam. So there will be quite a number of differences. Well, last question for you. Do you think three days duration, because as I understand, your course is only three days, and would it be sufficient for the participants to familiarize themselves with Power BI because as I know, the A100 is 4 days. Okay, well that's uh, another good question Lucas. Um, you see, a lot of people actually ask me right, about the duration because the majority of the time, okay, I'm not sure about the rest of the world, right? but in this region, right, Malaysia, Singapore and, and, and the rest, right, uh, a lot of times people come for training they would actually be concerned about the duration. They would measure a course effectiveness and also what they learn by the duration. Three days versus four days. Four days, obviously, there'll be a lot of things, right? And three days, well, maybe shorter. Well, 
I can agree to a certain extent as well as disagree. Okay, let me answer your question directly. Mm, if you talk about the duration of four days, now why is that so? See, because Microsoft created uh, that duration into such a way because they have um, sliced or they have actually segregated the topics okay, into many different chapters. Maybe let's say, for example, the topic of data modeling. Right, let's start from the initial. Prepare data, that's the first step. Preparing the data itself okay, is only one particular module. All right, but when we go to the next step of uh, data modeling, modeling the data or transformation of the data, it may span up to three separate modules. Right, because of course, they are uh, trying to educate, they're trying to uh, guide the user okay, to align with the key tested area in the exam. So thus, they have to really go a bit more detail and uh, you know, technically speaking, they wanted people to be strong enough to understand the intricate challenges of data modeling. Now compared to my course, right, data modeling is everywhere. Right? I would say that I do not actually, or I did not structure my modules right, in such a manner that I break it down into intricate modules. But I, did, I, I do it overall. Okay? I give a large picture. So because majority of my participants who can go for an analytical journey with Power BI would be more towards business users. So I would cut off all those technical jargons. You know, I do not want to actually scare my participants away. I intend to encourage them right, and make them uh, feel relaxed that Power BI is not really a king cobra that will bite you and you will die. No. Right? But ultimately speaking, I want everybody to know that everyone can do Power BI. So thus, three days would be much more co much comfortable for any walks of life. If you work in the sales department, you work in the HR, you work in the legal, the finance department, if I were to tell you four days or five days training, it'll be too long for them. So three days is just nice of a duration that, we can, that can cater for majority of the people. That is what I can say about it. Cool, cool. I think all these explanations have answered a lot of questions that have been in the mind of the viewers. And finally, before we end this dialogue, are there any advice or recommendation that you would like to tell the audience? Okay, thank you, Lucas. Um, well, of course, of course. Okay. Um, the last bit of advice, you know, before we uh, finish this video, um, yeah, I would like to tell our viewers here, okay, that. No matter whether you choose DA100 or even my uh, an analytical journey with Power BI, they are both suitable for you to start uh, or to kickstart your exploration into Power BI. But one thing in mind that you have to really ask yourself, okay, so that because this is a bit of an investment, I would say, in training, so you wouldn't want to go into the wrong class, you wouldn't want to go um, into a class and at the end of the day you say that, hey, that's not what I want, you know. So ultimately, you need to ask yourself, are you going for certification or not? If you are targeting certification, I would clearly still recommend you to go for DA100, right? But if you're not, you want to have a quick three days, right? Which would suffice you to directly go and venture into Power BI and immediately do your job. Then it would be my analytical journey with Power BI, okay? And of course, do not be afraid DA100 and, Power, uh, and my analytical journey with Power BI, both are Power BI's, they were not entirely different, but just please take note that you choose your course correctly because of whether you're going for certification or you may not want to. And last but not least, Lucas, allow me some time, we still have time, right? Okay. Yeah, sure. All right. Um, I would say that DA100, since it's official Microsoft curriculum, um, it is a bit hard to customize, okay? I am specializing in customizing uh, topics, customizing uh, a training course for different, different organizations. So if you're looking for customization of Power BI according to your own requirements, do it for me, man. Do it for <laughs> me. Okay. I think that's a very new, fresh idea for them. All right, um, it has been a very informative session. I believe this has cleared the air about the differences and the viewers are now able to choose the course based on their requirements. Thank you, Gerald. It's my pleasure to have you here today and hope that we can bring you out to another topic in our next video.
Thank you for inviting me, Lucas. Yeah, it's been my pleasure as well. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. See you again. Hi, guys. It's me again. And I believe you have learned a lot in this video. Before we end this video, I hope that you can like and subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you can see and able to receive our video on time next time. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.